Let's get to it. Love is Blind <laughs> is the number one show streaming on the platform. It was shot right here mm -hmm. in Atlanta. Kara has binged it. I have not, so I have been living vicariously through yes. her. I cannot <laughs> wait. We are so excited because uh -huh. we do have cast members Lauren Speed and Mark Cuevas here to give us a scoop. Yay! 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 All right, guys. Trent pretty much set it up, but kind of for anyone who's not familiar with it, tell us about the premise of the show. Sure. Um, so the premise of the show is, can you build an emotional connection with someone sight unseen? You know, mm -hmm. without ever seeing them, and it, within 10 days, can you pop the question? Can you propose? And then once you do, eventually get to a wedding day to decide whether you guys are right for each other. So it's mm -hmm. one of these things of, you know, today's society where we're on a swipe left, swipe right oh, kind of, sure are, you yeah. know, and, mm -hmm. and we're so super, I, I would say not everybody, but there is a superficial of culture course. that, yeah. you know, we see the physical first, but can you like cut that off and then build an emotional connection with someone, going deeper in conversations to get to know them. Absolutely. Oh, I love that. I can't imagine like what it was like, because it seems <laughs> it was so intense in such a oh. short amount of time. Yeah. And yeah. you guys were catching so many feelings like without mm -hmm. even seeing each other. So the first moment when you actually do see each other, and it's after you are engaged, mm -hmm. what was that moment like? Also, y'all are like all hot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> but, I mean, Hold on, let me go back, because yeah. I'm seeing a yes. lot of people there. So was it 15 and 15? Yeah, yes. so all yes. total it was 30 people. 30, people. 30 daters. Mm -hmm. 30 yeah. daters, and then we saw uh, interesting little pods. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah. before we get to the engagement part, what, what's happening in those pods? Okay, so you go into the pods, exactly. and then right. there's, yeah. of course, women on one side, men on the other, and then basically you're just dating through a wall. You're talking about the things that are important to you in your life, your fears, um, what motivates you, your family life, your political views, everything that you want to be in the forefront of your life or what you would talk to your husband about. Like, can I really make a connection with this person to right. possibly get married? Now, when you, okay, because they didn't show this on the show. Now, when you guys were forming these deep there emotional you connections, like, did you say to Cameron and did you say to Jessica, like, tell me what you look like? Um, I think oh. I, I went into it. Was that it. allowed? Uh, it, so it's not that it was discouraged, I would say, because yeah, it, it right. kind of defeats the purpose, right? Okay. Is true, I like, true. if I start to say, like, how tall I am, how, yeah, yeah. you know, am I, right. like, dark hair, blonde right, hair, right. I just, you know, I went, the only thing we talked about was age, and that was it. And other yeah. than, because I think that's something that's important to share. Right. Mm -hmm. And and what we do, but other than that, I was like, I'm gonna be 100% in this experience. I don't wanna be the guy that's like, so how tall are you? So uh, what's, right, you know, yeah, right. like that, so. I definitely tried to take the same route because I didn't wanna come up with what I thought he looked like in my mind and then uh -huh. I saw him and I was like, oh, he didn't look anything like that, right. you know? Right. So I just tried to be open and just try to connect with his heart. Yes. I know that sounds cheesy, but no. it's, it's true, you yeah, know what I mean? You really connect with those because I, I think because of how small the time that we had to get to know them. Like right. the first day you're doing speed dating. You're getting to know everyone like, so you really have to be like, what questions do right. I want to ask? Right. And what is important to me? And then when you ask those questions, someone gives you that response and you connect on similar pages. You're mm -hmm. like, wow. And then now I just look forward to seeing that person. I just want to yeah. talk to them. I just want to. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so there was this moment in the okay, pod. And me. I know, okay, Mark, <laughs> you're such a gentleman, so you probably won't sure. say anything one way or another, but I'm going to ask you anyway. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so Mark's there's like, like <laughs> no. so there's a moment in the pod, right, where he, so him and Jessica are having this relationship they eventually get engaged but before they get engaged she's kind of deciding between you and another guy in the mm -hmm. pot now watching that back how salty were you uh, I would, <laughs> that's one way to put it right yeah um, no I wasn't salty because okay. at the end of the day you know I told her on the show you know it's like I came here like I can walk out of here without you and I'm fine. And if we walk and if we do, go do this together like I only want to be right. with you and I yes. told her that and you know Love, I, I, you know, lo my mom always told me, if love, love is for you, it'll always come back. Say and if that. It, yeah. you know, and, if yes. and if it wasn't, it was never meant for you because I think love is a choice. And so when it did come back, I kind of, I held on to that. And to yeah. me, like, I was just, with that whole, I watching it back, yeah. I wasn't salty because okay, that's a part of the experience. Like, okay. you're getting to know all these different people. And, like, if someone does tell you, like, I would propose to you tomorrow, like, and someone else is like that, too, you're like, well, uh, I would be in kind of limbo, too. Right. 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 Yeah. right. All right, let's take a look at it. Okay. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is exciting. I want you to picture uh, this kid from Chicago with his heart in his hands, getting down on one knee. And Jessica, I want to ask you, will you marry me? Wait. 
No, she says yes. She says yes. She's taking a moment. She says yes. Oh. She says yes. Don't worry. The pause is yes. It was like the longest pause, and I go, hello? Oh, right. <laughs> and she starts crying, and yeah, oh, then she says yes. she so. did that kind yeah. of cry where you, yeah. you can't right. breathe. Right. I feel okay. like in person, it would have yeah. been a lot better. Sure. Well, but I, I had to double check. I'm like, are you still there? <laughs> right. You're like, okay, this is awkward. Uh, you mentioned your mom. Your mom was so sweet. I love that we got to see her on the show. And your family, too, Lauren. Talk yeah. about that a little bit. How was that? Because, you know, W it was fun meeting your parents, and mm -hmm. then me you were like, I don't know how my dad is going to yeah, take yeah. this. Yeah. Encouraging. I was thinking of my own dad being like, I don't know I don't how he's doing this show. Well, I think for any parent, especially my parents are very protective of me. Like, I'm their mm. little girl, so especially yeah. with the possibility of me getting married and with it being such a short period of time, I feel like any parent will be protective. Like, they really want to grill this person and get down to the nitty-gritty, um, regardless of if it was on a television show or not. So my dad definitely did not hold back. Um, <laughs> I love it. Yeah, yeah. So so he definitely pressed Cameron because this is his like little girl, it's yeah. golden. So, but at the end of the day, my dad just wanted me to be with someone who will love me and support me. Like that was the most important thing. Of course, with Cameron and I, we're interracial, so not that that's the forefront of our relationship, but it's definitely something that we have to talk about. Like, right. We can't be shy about it. Like right. we have to be comfortable with talking about us and our backgrounds because we yeah. have kids one day, and yes. that's something that you have to discuss. So, um, yeah, it wasn't really uncomfortable. My family is very supportive. They trust me. They trust my character and trust yeah. that I'll pick someone right. I'm so, yeah, yeah, it was definitely. I loved seeing. I also love seeing you like with your friends and talking oh, about yeah. all those real things because yeah, I yeah. mean that's real life right. and you were very like honest and oh, real. Yeah. About I it. feel like that that was important because I feel like with so many shows or even being on yeah. TV like. I wanted to represent something that was authentic and real and my true, real experience. Because mm -hmm. I know there's people out there that will see it and be like, yes, yeah, she said that. That's exactly right. how I feel. Right. So that right. was important to me. Was there any way to prepare for this experience? I mean, how do you go into something like I that? Don't Honestly, think it's, so. I don't the one, the one thing I promised myself, uh, before I even walked through the doors, like when we were talk, like shooting and anything, I said, I'm just going to be 100% myself. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what I can control. Everything else I can't control, right. whether I fall in love, whether whatever with product, it doesn't matter. It's like, as long as I can control me and what I re how I react and how who I am, then that's what's important. Amen. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah. the show, yeah. Yeah. so the show Mark. takes you through the pods, and then I guess mm -hmm. people are eliminated, mm -hmm. and then you, their potential engagements, how many mm -hmm. couples got engaged? Six. Only five minutes to the altar, though, right? Six, yes. but only yes. five minutes to the yes. altar, and then <laughs> you, <laughs> and then we'll find out like today who gets who actually tied yes. the knot. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so we can't say it. We well, yeah, I mean, we can't no. say it. I mean, I mean I'm know. sure that um, you know whatever happens that you guys will have love thrown your way. Yeah. Um, yes. I mean, has it been <laughs> wild since the show's been out and people are probably like in your DMs and stuff? Uh, well, it's crazy because <laughs> you, we don't Sorry. expect the reaction. Like we just we filmed it a year and a half ago, so you're just mm -hmm. kind of like you know you're waiting all this. Yeah. Time and then all of a sudden, like boom, it's in your and every day, you right. know, for the past what two oh, weeks yeah. now, where yeah. you're just kind of like, oh my god, and there's a lot of love pouring out. There's people asking questions, and you mm -hmm. know, yeah. it's one of those things where you just can't prepare for it. Yeah. I think it's a top trending show on Netflix, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kara's, yeah. Kara's been yeah. late for work every day. All right, so good. <laughs> if you could change yeah. anything about the experience or about your part in it, would, would you? I would not. I, I feel would. like I was truly authentic and real, mm -hmm. and I feel like I represented a group of people and just basically the world in general. Yeah. Like people need to see more real authenticness on like, TV, yes. and I'm glad that Amen. our show yeah. is that 100%. for a lot of people. I wouldn't change a thing because I think that whole thing gave me so many lessons to who I am now yeah. that like I, there's no like anger or anxiety. Like don't get me wrong, after you go through such an intense thing, you're like. Who am I now, right? And yeah. so you kind of have that introspective mm -hmm. session with yourself. Yes. And then yes. now I am who I am and right. I move forward and rela relationships, not just, you know, romantic, but just friendships and my family relationships, setting those boundaries and learning all the things about myself that I really want. Yeah. So I can't would wait. you do it again? You'd do it again? I would. Uh, oh, yeah. 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 You know. Would you do it again? Stop it. Stop. <laughs> okay. Watch the finale. It was released today. Mm -hmm. Catch up on all the episodes of Love is Blind. It's on Netflix. And it really is just one of the best. I mean, the crew. Uh, where's Mimi? Mimi's yeah. over there. Yeah. Uh -huh. they, they've been Hi, talking about it. That's right. And they're sticking around, right? Yeah. So you're yeah. not going well, anywhere. Well, I'm going to go watch the finale. Yeah. I'm actually, for real talk I might not be here. To talk about love. She's I'm going to go watch the finale. Yeah, she is. <laughs>